So this is Steve, and I'm here with Dennis Ferguson. Uh, Dennis is running on the Democratic ticket for the 5th District City Council seat nomination in, in May. Uh, Dennis, we appreciate your time today. Well, I'm glad to be here, Steve. Good. Well, we want to talk a little bit about you and, and what you hope to accomplish and things like that. Uh, why, don't you tell, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, just for those who don't know you? Well, uh, I, worked, uh, I worked at Food Marketing Super Value for 35 years in the grocery warehouse, and prior to that I worked five years at Kresge's Warehouse, and so I've worked in warehouses all my life. I'm a blue-collar working man, <clears throat> and uh, I'm pro-union, I'm pro-labor, I'm pro-jobs, and that's why I'm running on the Democratic ticket. Okay. Uh and, and that was going to be my second question, was why you're running, but you just answered that one. So uh, what do you see as the role of city council? I think city council should just uh, should pass fewer laws and they should just take care of city business like zoning problems and budgetary matters and spending. There have been too many laws passed in, in the last probably two city councils, I think. We've had the, uh, well, we've had the seat belt law, we've had the smoking law. We've had the uh, noise laws, noise ordinance. We've had garbage can laws. We've had restrictions on rummage sales even. Uh, my wife likes to have a rummage sale a couple times a year, or even three, but she's only limited to two now. And a lot of people, I think, use those rummage sales to bring in money that a lot of people are hurting and they could use that. You know, and they might like to have one every weekend. I have no problem with that, but the city seems to. And I think they should just pass fewer laws, back off a little bit, stop trying to control everything and everybody, and just take care of city business. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the light lease settlement um, and the legacy Fort Wayne monies that are coming in. Uh, any thoughts on how those should be spent? Well, what should be done with them? I should say that I hated to see city lights sold. I think this, I'd rather have seen the city just keep that and continue to lease it. Uh, I do think that the money that's in the uh, fund should stay there, the $36 million, I think, should stay in the fund. I think it'd be nice for the city to have a big bank account. And uh, the other monies that are coming in over 15 years aren't really going to amount to a whole lot of money, and I think they could be just used for any small projects that could just be paid for in cash. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wouldn't really be opposed to... Uh, it really wouldn't matter to me what they spend it on, you know. But to put it in perspective, the whole the whole deal is like five million dollars a year for over fifteen years. Hmm. Five million dollars can pay five miles of road. Now, five miles is a pretty good stretch of road, but compared to all the roads in Fort Wayne, it's nothing. It's a drop in the bucket. So that kind of puts it in the proper perspective, the way I see it. Mm -hmm. I think. And the money is not going to do a real lot spread out over that much time. But it could do a lot of little projects, a lot of different things. Sure. Okay. Are there any particular issues that you think need to be addressed in the 5th <clears throat> District? Not, not specific issues per se, no. I, I really haven't seen anything in the 5th District that bothers me. Uh, I guess the thing that bothers me the most is Harrison Square downtown. I don't approve of Harrison Square. I think it's a colossal waste of money. And I don't know what's going to become of it, but I don't think... I can remember, I'm old enough to remember when we used to have a real downtown with stores, shopping, people. The things that they're doing at Harrison Square aren't going to bring anyone downtown. A hotel's not going to bring anyone. Condos aren't going to bring anyone. A baseball stadium will probably bring some people, but... They're going to leave right after the ball game's over because there's nothing else to do downtown. And I just it just tears me up that they tore down the old stadium that was only 16 years old and spent $30 million to build a new one. I don't approve of that either. And so the whole Harrison Square project, all the development downtown I don't approve of. The Grand Wayne expansion, $42 million for that. And it's nothing. It, it doesn't amount to anything, and it won't bring anyone downtown. I would have liked to have seen a big shopping mall put downtown, maybe. Another Glenbrook, a big 
on their roof shopping mall with 150 or 200 stores, that would have brought people downtown mm -hmm. again. Are there other things that you think might have brought people downtown, maybe better investments? Well, I think we just need to have things to do for people downtown. I can remember when we used to have department stores, we used to have a G.C. Murphy variety store, we had restaurants, we had a couple of drug stores. There were a lot of things to do, plus all the little stores too. There are a lot of little stores downtown now, but really nothing, that, no real good drawing card, I don't think. Mm -hmm. But I can remember when we had Wolf and Death Sours that later became L.S. Ayers. We had Grand Leader that later became Stillman's. We had the G.C. Murphy store. The bus came and stopped right downtown at Wayne and Calhoun. You didn't have to walk five blocks down to the terminal and five blocks back. And it just it was so much handier. And there were so many people downtown, especially at Christmas time. Hmm. And they used to have that wonderful display in the department store window every Christmas. All that is gone now, and I miss it. I really miss it. Hmm. I'd love to have it all back. But I think shopping and stores are the thing to have. What would you hope to accomplish if you were elected? Well, I'm campaigning for much less uh, government control, and that's what I would like to accomplish, is to try to get stop passing so many laws and stop trying to control everything. I think the establishment is never going to be happy until they have total control over everything. And I don't believe in that. This is America. We don't, we don't need to be controlled. They do that in Libya. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that here. Mm -hmm. We need to have a few laws. I understand that. We can't have rape, murder, and mayhem going on. But the Bible has 10. The Bible has 10 laws. We don't need 25,000 of them. If the Bible can get by with 10, maybe we can get by with 10. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything else that you would want to talk about? Any other issues that you maybe see that are out there? I really haven't. I really haven't noticed much in the way of issues because I've been looking so much at the government control situation and the redevelopment downtown. That's what I've been focused on, mm -hmm. and I haven't really seen much in the way of other issues. But I wish I could put some campaign signs out. I can tell you that, and that goes back to one of the one of their laws too. I can't even put campaign signs out on the streets anymore. And it makes it a little bit hard to get my message out mm -hmm. and my name. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that changed again. I wouldn't mind seeing where they had maybe a t maybe a week before the election and a week after the election to put some signs out. I think it would be, or two weeks, w whatever the case might be, or a month. Mm -hmm. But I, I do admit that Fort Wayne looks a lot cleaner with, with less signage, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it makes it hard for a political campaign Sure. Okay. Anything else you'd like to mention? Or? I don't really think of anything right at the moment. Okay. Um, you mentioned about uh, redevelopment and things downtown. Do you think that do you think downtown is headed in the right direction? Or? I don't think it's headed in the right direction. No, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to see retail. They're trying to turn it into an office convention center downtown. I'd rather see it become retail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Office and conventions are fine. The conventions bring in a lot of money, I understand that. But I think we need to have shopping and people and just, it, it takes retail for that. Mm -hmm. you think, I think, I think it's, I basically think it's headed the wrong way. Do you think there needs to be more housing downtown? Well, I don't know if anyone's going to live downtown. We have near downtown housing around the west central area, east central areas, and that probably is close enough. I don't know where there would be room for any housing downtown without tearing some other existing buildings down. If you're talking about like a big, maybe a high rise like Three Rivers, yeah, possibly. But I don't know if anyone wants to live right downtown or not. Now, if, it, if we had a more vibrant downtown, maybe they would. Sure. That might change it. But the downtown, I see that our downtown withered slowly and died when Glenbrook came. <clears throat> and the problem with that I think is that Glenbrook was a new and different concept at the time. We, it was our first mall here, and there weren't very many malls anywhere, maybe in the larger cities. But it was a new and different concept, and of course people are going to gravitate to that to see what it's all about. 
But then they also had free parking for 4,000 cars all around the building out there. And downtown, they had to, we had to put pennies, pennies at that time, in the parking meters. And if we didn't get back there in time, we'd get a parking ticket. And to me, I think they just penalized people that came downtown. While Glenbrook was opening their arms to them. And I think possibly that's another change that I wouldn't mind seeing happen is maybe take the parking meters out of Fort Wayne mm. and just let people park free on the streets. Mm -hmm. If you can park your car, you might come downtown. It's mm. a good idea. We have a big ball stadium downtown now. There's no place to park your car. You gotta find a parking lot someplace or find a place on the street. Put money in the meter and hope you get back there in time. So, that would be another change I just happen to think of just right now that I would like to try to see to, to make, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know how much money the parking meters bring in, but I don't think the city needs nickels, dimes, and quarters at the expense of, of a downtown, a vibrant downtown. Mm -hmm. Do you think that if you eliminated <clears throat> parking meters that there would be a problem with people parking in a spot all day long and nobody well, else? They probably, yeah, they probably would. Do you think would. that might, might happen a lot? They probably would. Sure or for as long as they wanted to stay downtown. But that's the whole point of it, is that they could park there and stay as long as they want downtown without having to worry about it. And I don't see a problem with that. Once the street, if the street parking gets filled up, then additional people would have to find another place to go. Or just keep driving around until they find somebody pulling out or an empty spot. But I think it's a good thing. I think it would be a good thing to let people park indefinitely downtown. Anything else, Dennis? Not anything that comes to my mind right at the moment. Okay. Well, we appreciate your time today. Well, I'm, uh, it's great being here. I've, this is my second interview so far. Oh, okay. I had one with the Journal Gazette about a week ago, oh, or sure. I mean with the New Sentinel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it helps to get my message out to someone, you know. Sure. Okay. Well, we wish you luck on, on May 3rd then. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Dennis.